Morning everyone, it's Lee Barker from Spartan here. Uh, I'm in Metachewan, Ontario near our Oaks Drilling Project Exploration Program uh, area. We're based in Metachewan now. We have accommodation for our crew and we have our core logging and uh, core sampling facility established as well. Behind me is the Montreal River. This is a historic area of uh, Canada for the old fur trade in the old days. About five kilometers north of here is Fort Metachewan, which has a number of old buildings, including a church that's uh, part of the historic uh, heritage of the area. Uh, momentarily, we're going to be heading out to the actual site where we're working, and uh, we'll give you further updates from there. We're here now on the trail that goes into our uh, Metachewan project, the Old Oaks project. This is the beginning of our claim group. We have 41 claims in the area. Uh, which of course the claims that the Oaks shaft and old drilling program were done on. I'm here with Marco Mudrak, our exploration engineer, and uh, we're going to continue on to the site and give you more updates once we get there along this trail. We have a small river to cross, a number of wet spots, but uh, it's basically a decent trail these days. We've just arrived at Holly Lake, which is the site of the uh, former exploration program by the Oak Supported Syndicate where the shaft was sunk. Uh, I'm standing at a picket where one of the old positive drill holes was drilled in the 1930s. We've located those drill hole uh, sites as best we can using the shaft, the old shaft as a reference point. And our plan of course in this program is to re-drill these holes, perhaps drill a hole underneath them if uh, we see some results. And there are three sites that have been set out so far. There's this site here in my hand. There's a second one down here where another hole was drilled basically beside the shaft, which is behind the bulldozer. And then where the drill is located now is the first site that we've uh, set up on to drill. So we'll be working our way to the south uh, subsequently with each uh, pair of holes. We're standing at the site of the old shaft that was sunk by the syndicate uh, supported by Harry Oaks in the 1930s. Uh, this shaft's about 10 meters deep. There were some decent gold values reported in the shaft actually when it was sampled as they went down. And uh, this shaft is the reference point that we've used to locate the old drill holes uh, basically from the old maps that uh, gave positive results where we're actually drilling ourselves now. And uh, immediately just adjacent to the shaft to the East up here is a big outcrop of uh, porphyry that's got quartz veins and things going through it. And uh, this fits with the uh, philosophy of Harry Oakes apparently that he liked to see mineralized porphyry adjacent to lakes because immediately in this direction is Holly Lake with possible structure going up the lake. This is our drill shack with our drilling equipment. This is a shot of the control module for this machine. This machine has a capability of about 400 meters. Uh, the equipment is actually owned by a Spartan subsidiary and we use uh, our own uh, captive drill crew. We've just cleaned the shack up actually for shift change. It's good to do that between, uh, between changes because one crew appreciates coming into a clean environment for working as opposed to coming into something which is noisy. Uh, when the drill is actually operating, it's very noisy. There's a lot of water splashing around in here, a lot of grease, and, uh, but it's uh, actually good to hear the thing running because you know you've got production. We've completed uh, two drill holes at this site. Uh, one is a 50 degree hole which was used to duplicate the original hole 2A drilled by the uh, syndicate in the 1930s which had some very good results. 
The second hole is a 65 degree hole, which is set up now, nearly finished, underneath that hole, looking for continuity at depth of any mineralization. Uh, this is the standard procedure that we're going to follow in the next two holes as well. Uh, drill a hole almost the same angle as the original drill hole in the same location at the same direction, and then a hole underneath it looking for a continuity of mineralization. Here we are in front of the drill where we position our drill core so that the geologist in charge can look at the material that's coming up out of the hole, can make a decision on continuing the hole or uh, uh, stopping the hole and starting with a new one. In this particular case, we're seeing some very interesting mineralization in this drill core with uh, silica, pyrite, and very strong red hematite alteration. This is characteristic of the uh, alteration at the Young Davidson mine nearby and uh, seen generally as a very favorable thing to look at. This is a sample of the mineralization that uh, came out of the old shaft that was uh, sunk by the Oak Syndicate in the 1930s. Uh, as you can see on this sample, there's very heavy pyrite mineralization here. Uh, this red alteration, of course, which I just showed in the drill core, and we have a piece of quartz on the other side of it over here. So this may be a, a similar mineralization to what we're encountering in these drill holes, and uh, this is what we hope to find. What we're going to do with this drill core, we're going to take it all to attachment of our core logging uh, facility. Uh, we're going to log it there, uh, cut it and uh, sample it. We're going to sample the entire hole and then deliver it to Swastika for uh, testing. That wraps up our tour for the uh, Oaks Exploration Drill Site and the uh, work that we're doing now. And I think you have a better understanding of the program that we've planned and is currently underway. Uh, the next time we give you good news, uh, we hope, is going to be when the assay results come in from the lab.